Good morning, it is Saturday the 3rd of April and we are at Bella Houston Park for our 8th Knot Park Run. I'm Douglas, he's Craig and this is Scottish Park Run. So we're right up the top of Bella Houston Park just now next to the next to the obelisk uh, and we've got some fantastic views today Craig. It's still cold again? Why is it always so cold when we do these things? <laughs> but it's clear blue skies. Which means I've probably picked the wrong outfit as usual. I mean you say that like <laughs> I, I think we'll be a bit in the shade for the run so maybe Maybe you've got the right outfit on today because it is, it is certainly quite chilly at the moment. But I'm looking forward to this run. I think we'll get to see quite a bit of the park and it's a hilly route as well. I know last week you and Joe were saying you quite enjoyed the hills. Hills are good. So we've yeah, got another hilly yeah. one today. Yeah, yeah I could, could do with the extra training, the hill training. Exactly. <laughs> and, and even in addition to the hills, I think we're going to get to go around the running track for a wee bit as well. I don't give a... I've ever ran on the running track here before, so it'll be interesting to see what that is like. Cool. Yeah. But yeah, should we should we check out the first timers brief and see what else is in store for the route today? Let's get cracking, yeah. Awesome. Hello and welcome to Bella Houston Not Park Run. We have a glorious morning for a run today. It's a single lap course we've got, so you get to see the whole of the park without repeating yourself. We start up here next to the obelisk and we go downhill first of all towards the ski and snowboard centre before we then turn off to House for an Art Lover. Go around the bottom of the park, past the Palace of Art, then all the way towards the Sports Centre. Then we go around the running track actually for one loop. Uh, we go along Moss Park Boulevard and then we come back up the hill and we finish pretty much about here. Any questions? Yes, you sir. Um, I've heard people are quite interested in knot park runs. How do I, I make sure that I, I'm always fully up to date with the knot park run movement? Oh, well, that is a good question. All you need to do is like and subscribe to the Scottish Park Runs channel and make sure to tap that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. I feel about sick, Greg. <laughs> oh. Well, hopefully a nice run will cure that. Should we head on and do it? Yes, please. <laughs> Right, we're up to start now. Are you ready to go, Craig? Ready to roll. Excellent. Three, two, one, go. Just going past the ski and snowboard centre just now. You ever been there before, Craig? Um, yes, a few times. But certainly not a park that I come to that regularly. Mainly just because those ones go closer for no yeah. other reason. So he's just gone past the one kilometre mark. We're heading around the Palace of Art now. Which is not really much of a Palace of Art, is it? It's like a sports centre these days. Yeah. But it still retains its original name. That's us on to the running track, or I think you thought it was a cycle track, isn't it actually? Yeah, the sign we just passed there said uh, cycle activity. 
<laughs> something or other. <laughs> Still good for running though anyway. That's our lap of the track done. And we now go around the pitching putt area. Although I don't think it's there's much pitching putting going on these days. So I think Craig, just to your right, that is the pitching putt. Okay. <laughs> I mean that's what it says on the map. But uh yeah, maybe that was a long time ago. Yeah, there's not much there. <laughs> I guess we're technically outside the park right now, just heading along Moss Park Boulevard. Um, there's a very big grass bank next to us that separates you from the road, which I think is why, for example, the Jimmy Irvin 10K runs along here, right. and it's not an issue because it's, you know, it's a good uh, 10, 15 metres away from the road, I think. Just about to head back into the park now and you'll be pleased to know it's pretty much all uphill to the finish now. <laughs> just on the wee out and back section just now where we head towards one of the park exits and then we'll turn around and then head back up the main hill in the park towards the finish. Just approaching the top of the climb now. Nice wee uh, tough finish. <laughs> but we do get some nice views as we go over the top of the hill here. We seem to have a Craig sprint finish starting here. It just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Round to the obelisk. Good run, Craig. No bad, no bad. Whew. Well, that is Bella Houston Not Park Run completed. What did you think of that, Craig? Yeah, great. Cracking morning for it, so yeah, nice one. Certainly was. I quite enjoyed the fact it was only a one loop as well. Bella Houston's yeah. not the largest park, but if you know if you sort of zigzag throughout the park, then you can you can make it work. Yeah, picked out a good route for us. A nice tough finish. Indeed, that, that was a bit of an epic sprint finish from you as well. <laughs> After climbing up that hill, I thought that was going to be you, but no, you suddenly were like, "I'm going for it, Douglas. I'm going for the finish," and you just sprinted off. Trying, trying to get a wee bit of fitness back, just a little bit at a time, and that, that's a good way to to try and get back into the mindset. <laughs> Absolutely. Running fast, I think, always makes you feel a bit good, so yeah. it's uh, aye, it's nice to do that. Well, good stuff. Um, we will see you in a couple of weeks for our next one. Uh, it will still be local. We're not quite at the point where we can uh, travel freely within mainland Scotland, but I think in two, close, yeah. two not Parkland times, yep. we might be able to go a bit further afield, so that'll be good. That'd so, be awesome. yeah, we will see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Cheerio.